Eyewitness News in Wilmington at Bellevue State Park, where some people took advantage of today's warmer weather. That will all come to a change tomorrow as another Arctic blast will begin to hit the region. Chief Meteorologist Kate Milo is always watching and always tracking. She joins us now. Kate, this storm could have us, what, getting to the weekend off with a snowy start, huh? That's right, Yuki. So the Arctic blast comes tonight, right? And then mm -hmm. we've got the storm Friday into Saturday. So kind of a one two punch here from Mother Nature. The first is the cold, and that settles in tonight. You can see it is dry, and it will stay dry through Thursday. Cold front is through the region. Winds are out of the north and west. It is Starting to cool down now, but you'll really feel the difference early tomorrow morning when temperatures plummet into the teens and 20s. Our low tonight in Philadelphia, 21, a clear sky, much colder, breezy at times. It'll feel like the teens all night and into tomorrow morning. And 26 degrees for tomorrow. We'll start the day feeling like the single digits. And once again, it doesn't feel any better than the teens all day long, thanks to that wind gusting to 25 miles per hour. And then we shift our focus to this potential nor'easter. And again, we have a couple of different scenarios with this one. Let's talk about two different scenarios with this. I want to go back. This is the GFS model. And you'll notice that these start out very similar. So what we're looking at during the day Friday is this next Arctic cold front. That's going to bring us that fresh injection of Arctic air, which you need to get a nor'easter really to form. Light snow could break out even as early as Friday afternoon. That means Friday afternoon, Friday afternoon's commute could be slick. But the storm doesn't move up the coast until Friday night into Saturday morning. Now the GFS model has the storm a little bit further out to sea, so you can see the snow reaches the city. It's moderate snowfall from the city to the shore. We're talking five or six inches possible in spots less to the north and west. Strong gusty winds and a major nor'easter with heavy snowfall for New England. That is the solution that many of our ensemble models are siding with as well. But there is another possible solution. And if you're a snow lover, this is what you'll be rooting for. This is the European model, which again breaks out the snow throughout the day Friday, light snow for the commute. Watch what happens as this storm comes up the coast, though. It's a little further inland, and then it almost kind of retrogrades and stalls, moving back up toward New England, meaning a longer duration of further inland snow, long duration, heavy blowing snow, likely with this potential. Scenario and that doesn't end until Saturday evening. So, with this, you'd have parts of the area looking at upwards of a foot of snow. Again, this appears to be the less likely scenario right now, but we have very high confidence on the timing Friday into the day Saturday. Very high confidence that we will see accumulating snow. The question is, how heavy is the snow and what is the exact track? And that's what we will be ironing out as we go through the day tomorrow. But regardless, this is going to be a major storm, even if we don't get the heaviest snow from this. Southern New England looks like it may. The storm may bomb out, which means it goes un undergoes explosive intensification, strengthening rapidly, leading to heavy, prolonged snow, especially for Southern New England and possibly for our area as well. Strong, gusty winds battering the coast from the northeast. That can also lead to coastal concerns as well. That's what gives us the term nor'easter. So we have two quiet days. Then snow breaks out with the Arctic front on Friday, but the actual coastal storm, the impacts will be overnight Friday night into the first half of Saturday. Saturday at least. And again, stay tuned because we will be bringing you updates as they become available as all of our data comes in and we start to develop a consensus forecast on this one. Then it's a little bit quieter, thankfully, for Sunday and Monday. Yuki, back over to you. Mm -hmm. We'll be watching, Kate. Thank you. The